Will we be revisiting the situation in October because nothing has been resolved? Or will we be facing a new situation? I hope that May and Corbyn will be able to cut a deal. I mean, certainly they should be finding some constructive solution and they should either be leaving or staying in. Um, we in this parliament need to be capable of moving forward to face up to the major challenges of the future, such as migration, trade wars, we have internal and external security to worry about as well as climate change. We have to be clear about the fact that the European Union is the sole force we have, which brings us together to rise to the challenges of the future and to save Europe, to take it forward forward and we must therefore not be rent asunder by nationalism. Rather, we should stand united. We have a Europe of solidarity, of peace, of economic prosperity and this is the Europe that we have enjoyed so far. Now, I've been in the Parliament for 39 years. This is the last speech I'll be making here. And I would say that Europe can now go down in history. When I joined, uh, there were nine members of a customs union that wasn't working particularly well. Now we have 28 members with the European Parliament entitled to have its say. Back in the day, we had no right to be heard. And we have now uh, come to enjoy the powers we have today. Now, Notre Dame is not only a beautiful building, rather, it is something which embodies uh, the spiritual aspect of Europe and of Christianity, the Europe to which we all belong. And I remember the pictures, the images, uh, where um, the President Mitterrand and a weeping Helmut Kohl uh, held uh, a solemn uh, ceremony there. Uh, do not allow this Europe to be destroyed. Nationalism means war, and that is something that we should never lose sight of. Thank you very much.